could you paint us like more of a picture of what does the integration for wastewater like treatment facilities like in general look like? Is it very different from what you've seen, uh, let's say like a course or other industries? Like, so I'm just trying to understand what that looks like for you today. I think most people in our, in our industry like to say constantly, and we have to do more with less, we have to do more with less, right? We don't have money, we're underfunded. Um, I've heard that a bunch. You know, it's, it's funny because I went to a conference one time and I sat there and talking to a, talking to a coworker who was, or sorry, a, you know, coworker, but talking to somebody who was there with me and he said, you know, don't tell me that your, your industry doesn't have money. I've been to wastewater plants. I see all the Allen Bradleys and the Schneiders that you have. And I work at a manufacturing plant and we use Mitsubishis. And I just stared at him. I'm like, Mitsubishi makes PLCs. And he's like, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, how much are they? Oh, they're a fraction of the cost. That, that's, that's cool. How many people do you have that can program them? Everyone that works for our plant that we trained. And I'm like, cool. We don't have that in water, wastewater. Most facilities aren't lucky enough to actually have an onboard INC guy or somebody that has PLC training, right? It, that's a, really? that's a mid to large size plant. The small plants don't have that at all. They're reliant on integrators. So what you're going to find in water, wastewater, it's not that we don't have a lot of money, but they tend to be very focused on what they buy and they're buying for quality. They're buying for long-term. Now I'm not trying to pick on any of those vendors and say that they're the best or not. I, I certainly know one of them's given me such a headache with the uh, supply chain issues right now, but they'll tend to gravitate towards what they know 